They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clock stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The baby monitor. Oh, it's my old baby monitor. On. Check, check. Checking. One, two, three. Checking. It's working. Hmm. Why don't we give it to the Johnsons? They just had a baby the other day. Oh, uh, this is mine. And I'm planning on using it. Aren't you a little too big for it? No, I'm not big at all. Well, I didn't realize that you're still a little boy. And a greedy one at that. They're never gonna notice this. Hey, Fixies, are you here? We're here now. Why did you call us? I gotta show you how I turned into a mind reader. I find that just a little hard to believe. Okay, then I'll show you. I'll leave you alone, and then you'll hide this button wherever you want. Then I'll come back and find it. <laughs> you got it. So where's a good hiding place? Well, we gotta think of one. Uh, right here, under the keyboard. Great. Go on, Nolik. Come on in. We're ready for you. And now, I'm going to read your thoughts. Here I go. Hmm. You hit the button here. Look. Ta-da! He really does read minds. Oh, that was a lucky guess. Bet you can't do it again. Well, I bet you I can. We're gonna have to be sneakier. Verda, she's the most beautiful girl in our class. She knows it, too, and doesn't hesitate to use it. She can even be a bit sneaky. Like when she needs help with her homework, then Digit suddenly becomes her best friend. But if she doesn't want to carry her pack a mat, she'll say, Fire, please help me. You're just such a strong fixie. But all us boys like her just the same. Digit does, and Nolik does, and I guess I do, too. Although, I really like Simka more. Or maybe Verda. Or both of them. I haven't decided yet. Verda can be difficult, and even bossy sometimes. But one thing I know for sure, Verda's a good friend. A friend that'll always come help. Well, that is if she's able to pry herself away from the mirror. I think that we should throw it down into this pencil cup. But then we concentrate on another place. Hmm, that is good, but it won't work, Fixies. Come on in. Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. It's in here. Tidish? Simka, were you thinking about the cup? No, I swear. And my mind was blank. Then who did, huh? Hmm. Uh-huh. Tom Thomas, what do you say we go again? As many times as you want. I know how he's been doing all of this. It's a baby monitor. That's how he can hear what we're saying. I don't get it. A baby monitor helps parents watch over their babies. The system has two units that look like wireless telephones. The parents keep one of the units by their side and put the other one in the room where the baby is sleeping. If the baby suddenly wakes up and starts crying, the unit in the baby's room will pick up the sound and send it by radio waves to the parents' unit. Mom or Dad will hear the crying and go and comfort their child. And so he's listening to us now. This time I know what we should do. We'll hide it under the globe. Uh-huh. Aha! Huh? Where is it? If you read our minds, you'd find your button. 
Under the baby monitor. You tricked me. That's really not nice. And spying on us is nice, you think? I'm sorry, I just thought it'd be fun. Well, anyhow, Tom Thomas, you're too old for this thing. Unless, of course, you still need it. I'm not a baby. I was just, you know, checking it. I'll go and give it to Mom. Mom, I'm not greedy. About what? Let's give this monitor to the Johnsons. And this car is for their baby boy. Hmm, I don't think that baby's big enough yet for your car. So what? Soon he's gonna get bigger and become a big boy, right? Like me. Can you believe that pixies are such itty bitty creatures? Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. Eye detector. Suka! Shh, quiet. I'm on a stake out here. Who are you staking out? Huh? Tom Thomas. We've got a bet that he won't be able to survive three days without any TV. Really? Can I be on the stake out with you? Shh. Suka! Thomas, just tell me you didn't. I didn't. Why didn't you? It's because I... Mm, I'm not Tom Thomas. What? I'm Tom's brother. That's totally not true. We know Tom Thomas doesn't have a brother. I meant his first cousin. Then how come you two look so much alike? It's because our mothers are twins. So what should we call you? Who, me? Uh, John Johnson. And who are you, by the way? As if you don't know who we are. This room is beautiful. Sure is bigger than mine. I don't believe you. You're telling a lie. And what is your proof? Maybe he's not lying. There's a way to check it. How? Yeah, how? With a lie detector. You'll see. A lie detector is a device that is used to help figure out if someone is telling the truth or if they are lying. You see, when someone is lying, they always get a little bit nervous. Even though we might not see it, we know that a liar's heart beats a little faster, his breathing changes, and he sweats. A lie detector can pick up on all of these little things. And that's how a lie detector can be used to help find the truth. But you don't have a lie detector. But we know how a lie detector works, don't we? Or are you scared, Tom Thomas? What's that for? To listen to your pulse. How come? So I'll be able to check how fast your heart is beating. And Nolik? He's gonna keep an eye on how often you blink. And what are you doing with the egg? The egg is an old African method. If you're not telling the truth, your hand will automatically squeeze the egg. And so, the egg will crack. Well, my egg won't crack. We'll see about that. Humans have tried to come up with all sorts of ways to find out the truth. For instance, in ancient China, they would put some dry rice in a person's mouth when they told him the crime they believed he committed. Then, they checked the rice. If the rice stayed dry, they believed he had committed the crime. In ancient India, a person had to bang on a gong while answering a judge's questions. If he started banging the gong louder, then it was believed that he was trying to hide the truth. And in Europe, if one knight accused another of lying, then they would just take part in a duel. Whoever won that one was said to be on the side of truth. No, it's not easy to hide the truth, but sometimes it can be even harder to find it. Answer yes or no. You got that? Do you have 
have two ears? Don't you have eyes? Just yes or no. Yes. Answer, are you a girl? Hey, come on. Yes or no? No. Where do you find such dumb questions? We just have to check what happens to your heart when you tell the truth to us. All right, now answer this. Do you know the Fixies? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, no. I forgot. His pulse is speeding up. Are you Tom Thomas? No. Ah, uh, his pulse is racing. And his eyes have started blinking. And the Fixies, tell us where you learned about him. From Tom Thomas. He couldn't have told you about us. It's a secret. He could. Not true. It's true. It's not true. Yes, it is. Hey, look! The egg cracked! Just give up, John Johnson. All right, I'm Tom Thomas, guys. Tish! Is it really possible to know if you lied just by measuring your pulse? With pulse, you really can. But you probably couldn't with the egg. You tricked me then. That wasn't nice. You weren't tricked. John Johnson was. Huh, you know what? I think you've got to get checked out on this lie detector. Ha! I don't think so. You need to get ready to give me my wish. Because you're the one that lost the bet. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.